Hi, what is up my dudes? It's Ariel. If you know me or if you don't know me, Ariel. Either way. I hope you're all doing well. I have a fun little video today because I'm going to be unboxing some stuff. As we know, I like to do on this channel. Actually, it's not my favorite video to film, but it is the easiest video to film. And right now, the easiest thing for me is what I'm going to do. I've been very busy with school. This is so beyond the point. So with that being said, I'm going to just open up the box. This is stuff I got from Japan. All of it is secondhand. A lot of it is designer. If you've been on my channel before, you know the vibe. You know what's going on. This is probably one of the biggest packages I've gotten yet. I've slowly started shopping online secondhand from Japan more and less on Depop or whatever. This is probably the main place I shop now just because I'm able to find such unique pieces as you'll see in the video and I get them for like a great value. I think at least you can be the judge of that as we open things up and I show you. Also, just a heads up, any of the prices I say is before shipping to the US. In Japan, I have to pay for the item and then they hold it for me and then ship everything I bought together in this big box. So to ship this big box was about $180. I got 20-ish items, I think. I think that's just about it and let's just get into it. Also, new scissors, finally. Many thought that this day wouldn't come, but yes, I got new scissors. Anyways, let's open her up and get into this because I think it's gonna be a long one. Also, I'd say most of this stuff is for my fall wardrobe. I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff. There's some jackets, there's some sweaters, there's some long sleeve type stuff. Did a bit of damage. This box is literally huge. I'm gonna put it on the ground and then just take packages out. Okay, so I see it. This big box sounds like something solid. I think it's probably a bag. So let's see. Oh, that's so cute. I've never gotten a little freebie in a package from Japan, but I think this is some kind of cream. It has a little dog on it. All of the information is in Japanese, so I can't read it, but we'll see about that. Yeah, I was right. It is a bag and it's bigger than I thought. Okay, cool. So starting off, I got this diesel bag. Great note to start off on. It's just a black bag. It's like a shoulder bag, but the strap is adjustable, which I didn't know. So I could probably wear it as a crossbody as well. Yes, I can. Like, look at that. Perfect. And it seems like it'll fit a good amount of stuff. The way I can tell if it's a bag that I'm going to use regularly is if I could fit my plastic reusable water bottle in here, because if I can't fit my water bottle, I'm not going out with it. A girl needs to stay hydrated. That's the main criteria. If it's just a smaller bag, it can't fit my water bottle. Just like a night out bag, a little phone wallet situation. But no, this is substantial. I could probably even fit a book in here. Here's the book I'm reading right now. And yeah, it can definitely fit. So perfect. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. And I got it for a really good price. It was no more than $30. I want to say 26-ish. I thought I was going to sell it initially. I was like, maybe I'll sell it. Maybe I'll keep it. But since it's big, I'll keep it. Moving on. Next up, this next big one. I think it's a jacket, so let's see. I was right. <laughs> See, this is why I was like, it's gonna be my fall kind of stuff because I got a jacket and some other warm clothes. Uh oh, it smells like cigarettes. Definitely have to take this one to the dry cleaner. Just a little puffer, purple. I like the color a lot and it's D squared. I paid $60 for it. Only thing is, oh, I was about to say, the only thing is it's supposed to have a hood and it doesn't, but it does. The hood was hiding in the collar. I know there's a version of this that has a huge fur hood, but this this unfortunately isn't that. I love the campy fur hood. It's a very D squared, but I definitely need a jacket with some kind of hood if I'm buying a jacket because it's so cold and sometimes I'm just not gonna do the second step of putting on a hat. This is so perfect. I think it will fit me well. Only thing is I have to get it laundered before it's time to wear and it's that cold because it reeks of cigarettes. Other than that, it's cute. We love her. It's actually pretty thick as well. This is also part of the reason why shipping to the US from Japan was so expensive because that jacket is big and took up a lot of space in the box. Moving on. I think this is a skirt. Yes. This is a hysteric glamour skirt I got. It's very plain. It's just a plain dark wash denim skirt. I've been in my long skirt bag. I think I have one or two more maxi skirts in this box that I'll open. There's something about a long skirt. For a while, I bought a lot of short mini skirts, pleated skirts, just cute little skirts, but it's just not me. I'm almost six foot. Actually, I went to the doctor a couple days ago. I'm only 5'10 and a half. I thought I was 5'11, but she humbled me. But I think a long skirt is just what 
what suits my body type, which is just very tall and straight. I don't really have much curve. I think that a long skirt looks better on me than a short skirt. And I also feel a lot more comfortable in a longer skirt. So I got this long skirt. I'm just not sure if it will fit me. The waist looks a tad bit small if I want to wear it low-waisted. Might end up being more high-waisted, but I like that it has this huge slit in the back. The last time I ordered from Japan, I got a maxi haggy skirt from Hysteric Glamour. Everyone seemed to love it. It's my favorite piece in my wardrobe. I've worn it a ton this summer, and I know the denim skirt is very much back. Good Japanese denim as well. I really love this wash. I got this for $6, like $6.50 in a bid. I've been big on the bids recently, so I think most of the stuff I got this time around was from a bid, which is rare, because usually I more so just get stuff on Mercari. Next up. I'm so excited about these, but a little scared because I think they might be too short. Also, this is one of the more expensive pieces I bought. I'll show it to you and explain a bit more. Oh, they are gonna be too short, very much so. I'm so sad, okay. And probably just too small in general. I love them though, so that sucks. So I got these undercover pants. They're from the Illusion of Haze collection. And I think the year 2001, they're a size medium and I thought that they would fit because of that. I thought they might have been men's, but no, they're women and they're just a bit too short for my long legs. I guess I'll probably sell them. I paid 70 for them. Really, I want this top from this collection, a mesh star top, and it's so beautiful. I want either the top or the bag, but they're so hard to come by and super expensive. So I was like, these pants are super cool and I got them for a good price. They're just about as old as me. I was born in 2001. <laughs> they're in pretty good condition, apart from the little mark on the leg. They have rips on the knee that's covered with this mesh material. Talks that they're not gonna fit. I'm so tempted to try them on now really quick. Actually, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. They don't fit. I couldn't even pull them past my thighs. So I will be selling them. What a shame. They were one of the things I was most excited for, but I still have some other good stuff and whatever. <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, moving on. I don't know. I've just been really wanting more undercover. I really liked undercover when I was in high school. And now, four years later, I'm getting back into it. And I was just so excited for those. But it's okay. There's a layers to this. I'm so excited for this. I feel like you guys will like it a lot as well. I got this vintage Juicy Tee. This was also a bid item I won, but this graphic, dude, is so crazy. It's like a DJ and MC in front of the logo. I love it so much, and it's vintage. It has a good, good tag on there, and I love it. It's just a black tee, kind of oversized fit, even though it's a small. It has a small logo on the sleeve as well, and I love that it's like a wash black color. I just love it. It was about $30. I know this would easily go for like 80 on Depop or Grail. Actually, I saw one on Grail for about 80. Still for sale though, so if I find it, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I just love this. I'm so excited to wear it. I want a DJ. I told myself I would make a mix by the time the year is over. I still haven't bought a controller. Also, I feel like everyone in New York wants to be a DJ now, so like, but I do really want to. Anyways, next up. This is a skirt I got. It's by Hysteric Glamour, and this is definitely one of the things I will be styling because I know exactly how I want to style it. I got a pair of boots that I just, I know it's gonna look perfect with this. It's super cool. It's corduroy and the dark brown color that I really love. And it has a thick built-in belt with some contrast stitching. I think it looks really classic, very 80s vibe, especially because of the back, which has a patch. It's a peace sign, and it says, yes, bong, no bomb, which I think is so fun and very much 80s. I don't think it's actually from the 80s, but 80s inspired, even down to the tag. I know this is a pretty common hysteric tag. I have some other pieces with this tag in it, but yeah, I love it. I think it was about $30, super cute, and really good quality as well. Next, so. So this is another bid item. I believe I won the bid at around $15, which is more than I was anticipating paying, but I thought that it was just so cool. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I think I'll get some good use out of it. I'll take it. It's this vintage jerseys tee, size small. It's just a white tee, vintage tag, and it has a Rottweiler on it, I believe. This is a Rottweiler. I just think it's cool. It's honestly just cool. It's simple. I have a lot of graphic tees that have words on them, and I 
I find them harder to style versus just a simple graphic like picture of dog. This is a universal statement. Anyone can see this picture of the dog and be like, dog, like I can appreciate a good picture of a dog. It's really that simple. I got a mohair cardigan on eBay, a dark purple mohair cardigan, and I plan to layer this underneath. I've been looking for a lot of full length graphic tees. I think for the past two to three years, the baby tee was really in. Because they were so popular, I gravitated more towards the baby tee and I liked it for a while. But at my core, when I'm trying to go out to have a casual day, walk around, do stuff with friends, do whatever, I gravitate more towards the longer t-shirt, the longer, looser fitting t-shirt, like the Stray Rats one I got recently. And I realized that my baby tees were just sitting in my wardrobe. Maybe I'd throw them on for a fit pick or like to style them, but I wouldn't really wear them out because they're just not as comfortable as a looser fitting t-shirt. So I've just accepted that I prefer more oversized t-shirt and I'm slowly phasing out a lot of my baby tees, whether it's selling them or giving them to my sister or whatever it is. So you're gonna see a couple more graphic tees in this box. So yeah, that was my thought process. Next up. See, this is another graphic tee. This one is also Stussy, vintage Stussy. Good tag right there. But this is just a gray tee. It kind of coincides with the DJ theme of the other one. This one has a boom box and it just says Stussy on it. I think these were probably released in the same collection, whatever that collection is, because they're very similar. This one also has a small Stussy on the side of the arm. Really like it. I bought this one first. I won it in a bid for around $25. And then I found the other tee, which I like a lot more. So I think I will sell this one just because I don't need two tees with a very similar they're both juicy they both are I guess music themed and I don't know they're both darker colored t-shirts as much as I'd like to keep both I really don't need both so I will probably sell this one next up another graphic tee this is the first thing I got out of everything in this box and I am so obsessed with it. It says smoking seriously harmed you and others around you and it's Dolce & Gabbana. It's from their vintage collection. I don't think it's actually vintage, like 20 years or older, but they have a line of tops that are made to look like vintage and distressed. It's super thin, kind of see-through almost, and it has these little holes in the back and the front, which I believe it came with. I reblogged this on Tumblr probably like a year ago maybe even two years ago just because I thought it was funny if you're on fashion tumblr you probably have seen this as well I don't know I've seen it so much but I just thought it was so cool that I found it for sale and it was 50 bucks which to me is decent like if I saw this on depop for like 120 I would heavily consider buying it and I don't smoke cigarettes but I think it's funny and ironic and I already know how I want to style it I got this huge actually I'm not gonna show you yet I'll definitely post a picture of it on Instagram but when I take a picture with this I will have a cigarette that is lit in my hand because I'm a lover of irony and it's the vibe either you get it or you don't but yes funny love it and I think the holes in it are supposed to be burn holes like if you were to ash your cigarette I just think it's funny but smoking does seriously harm you and others around you don't smoke I don't smoke or vape that's kind of a flex next up <laughs> another t-shirt okay i'm kind of bad but a girl loves a t-shirt like i'm a simple girl i enjoy t-shirts i also want to put this under my mohair cardigan that i got it's simple it's classic we love it it's just this vivian westwood shirt has a bunch of orbs in this kind of scrawled drawing style simple little tee and it has the amante accents on the crest i think this would be fire with a purple mohair cardigan and then these burgundy color parachute pants very much the color scheme i want to get into to this fall. I'm starting to really love burgundy. My high school colors were burgundy, so for a long time, I was like, ew, I don't want to see burgundy. My school ruined it for me. Everywhere I looked, it was burgundy, burgundy. But now I feel like I have enough degrees of separation to where I can appreciate a nice burgundy. Burgundy and red and purple, I'm loving them. Okay, next stuff. Honestly, kind of almost done. I thought I got a lot more stuff, but I'm glad that I didn't, because let's be honest, I don't need it. Next up, <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is this hysteric glamour top I got. It's like three, four sleeve, but the print has glitter in it all over it, which is so beautiful. 
This was another item I got in a bid. Oh, I forgot to say. This Vivian top was around $30. This was, I want to say $26 in a bid. I really just got it because I have the tote bag and how cute would it be to wear this and the matching all over print tote bag? Like, come on. And probably with that long dark denim skirt. That's so cute. And I'm a sucker for anything that matches. It's just extra and I love it. I think that this is going to fit super well as well. It's not cropped, but it will end right where my jeans start, which I'm a sucker for. There's nothing more beautiful and flattering than that to me. And it looks good on everyone. It has some good stretch to it. I know it looks tiny. And I just love this print because it has all of my favorite hysteric designs on it. I love the hair formula design. I love this design. I love the Ford buck. You get a, a good all over print. We love it. We love it. We love to see it. Next up, I'm so scared I'm gonna cut whatever's in this one. So, I have been getting quite into Comme des Garçons in general and Junior Watanabe specifically. I think that's probably my favorite sub label of CDG. And I found this top. It's like long sleeve patchwork, kind of. And I just thought it was pretty cool. It's lightweight, but not too lightweight. Really just perfect for fall. Stripes, I think, are kind of in this season. I don't really care. One thing about me, I'm gonna wear what I like and I'm gonna wear what I want. Some may say, oh, you follow trend. You wouldn't be wrong. I don't mind following a trend but when it comes down to it I'm gonna wear what I want and what I like. I do love CDG and always have appreciated it but it always seemed kind of intimidating to me because one a lot of the pieces I do find that I really like are expensive and then two I wasn't well versed in the sub labels and stuff but shopping around on these Japanese sites has kind of informed me a little bit more on what sub labels I like and some of the different pieces and styles. I don't know if that made sense but I really like this top. I'm so happy I got it now that I see in person as well. Super simple. I got a maxi skirt that's also Comme des Garçons that I plan to style this with. I'll have to see how it looks when I open it. It was $32 I want to say. I won it in a bid but nobody else bid. I just bid the minimum amount. I have some more CDG in this haul as well. Next up... <laughs> Speaking of more CDG, I think that this was my best value buy in this package haul, whatever. Let me show you why. So I won it in a bid. I was bidding on this minutes before my huge exam. I was walking into the exam room like bidding, like I need this, I need this. Mental illness, get your priorities straight, queen. But I'm gonna show you why it's so worth it. It was like a bundle listing of three items and I ended up winning the bid for $60. Me and this other person were neck and neck. So first, it's this Comme des Garçons Tricot t-shirt with color blocking. This reminds me of the country of Bermuda. I feel like these colors are in the flag. Maybe I'm mistaken. This would have been perfect if I got it earlier in the summer. This is just a perfect little summer shirt. There was a stain on this. All of the items are flawed. So there's a small stain on the yellow part. Maybe I'll get it out in the wash. Maybe I won't. I don't know if I really care. This wasn't the item that made me want to buy the bundle, but you'll see. Also, also in this bundle. I like this top a little bit more. This is Comme des Garçons Edited. Is the sub label? Focus. Yeah. Okay. This is just a black tee which I think will be easier to style than that other tee. And it has this little stripe accent of a cute floral design. And the flaw on this one is some small holes in the floral part. But again, I don't really care. This also wasn't the main reason I bought this bundle. I just thought it was cool. T-shirt I can throw on with just about anything. But this, this is why I bought this bundle. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. It's a button down and CDG does a lot of these button downs, especially Junior Watanabe. This isn't Junior, this is just CDG I think mainline. But I know they have the poem print button downs, which I would love, but they're really expensive. And this should be really expensive. I just got lucky in the bid and managed to get all three of these tops for $60. It just says, Comme des Garçons, always. Just random text on it. I think it's really beautiful. I think it's so perfect for fall. I could literally put it over anything and it's just the perfect way to elevate an outfit. I also have a black Stussy tie that I think would go perfect with this if I want to actually wear it as a work shirt. I think I think it's just so cool. I'm gonna wear this all the time this fall and I just love it. This is vintage. Well, it's just short of vintage. It's from 2003, so next year it will be vintage. And I saw the black version of this with white text on Grail for $250. So I lucked out on a steal with this one. It does also have a stain, like 
I said, all of these pieces are flawed. This is a stain. I don't know if you could even see it. I literally do not care. Why are you looking at my clothing so closely? Also, I'm hoping some of the stains will come out in the wash. The flaw on that one was the least noticeable out of the three. So whatever, we pick our battles and yeah, so worth it, so worth it. Also with my CDG foam posits that I got not too long ago. <laughs> I'm boxes in a vlog. I'll link it below. I'm just so excited to style that. Next up. Okay. Another tea. We're surprised. We're shocked. This one is a little different though. Hear me out. Oh, it feels so nice. It's a thermal material. I believe this is a Frank Kozik collab. The brand is L Arc and CL, but I believe Frank Kozik did the artwork, but I might be mistaken. If I'm wrong, I'll put the name of the artist on the screen. His signature artwork style is animals smoking, this kind of cartoony looking animal. It looks kind of crazy and just doing human, sometimes vulgar acts. I just really like it. I was familiar with his art before. I I saw someone selling this exact shirt actually for I want to say around $200 on Depop and this brand is a Japanese brand it's pretty obscure I'd never heard of it until I saw the shirt on Depop but I was like hmm what are the chances I can just look up this brand and find this shirt and I looked up the brand and found the shirt for $15 so I was like yeah I'm gonna buy it because of course that's so weird on the listing this side of the shirt was bleach and I was like oh it's fine it doesn't really matter it could add to the grungy look of it but I don't know where the bleach stain went, but it's not here. This shirt is in like perfect condition. So yes, we love her. I lucked out on that one. Okay, next up, we're getting to the end here. I have four things left. Okay, before I even open it, look at this. Look at it! I was so excited when I found this. And I thought someone would buy it before me because I don't know if this even is gonna make sense, but Japanese people who are shopping have first dibs and then in a couple days, then it becomes available for me to purchase. So I was like, damn, someone's definitely gonna purchase this in the few days before I'm able to purchase it. But no one did. And guess how much I got this top for? This beautiful thing for $30. $13 and the seller also sold a black one in the past for $10 of the same shirt I so wish I had both just because the collector brain, but I am so obsessed with this It has this little pointel lacy trim. Are you kidding me? It just has a little kitty and it says D&G This is from their underwear line, which is why I think it's so cheap But I'm not gonna wear this as underwear girl. This is a this is a top. I'm wearing this out little cardigan on top like so cute even a hoodie. Oh my gosh. I'm just so obsessed with it. The neckline. It's the neckline. And the kitty. I just love it so much. And I know the fit is going to be flattering because it's a long top, but it's also snug to fit your body. I can't. Like, I love it. Beautiful. Maybe one of my favorite things I got. I love, love it. I wish I got it earlier in the summer so I could just wear it out with a pair of jeans or shorts. Super casual. Just throw it on. But, oh well. I will have my fun with it. And I have it forever now. Yeah. Up. So this is also another little top, which I wish I had it for summer because I'll probably have to layer something on top of it I'll have to figure out how I want to style it, but it's just beautiful It's mohair and it's a tank top kind of open knit and then it has a lace like a thing You can tighten at the neckline and tie it like a little bow. It's so beautiful Soft and just really nice like it's the mohair. It's the mohair that gets me beautiful kind of sheer I would wear this with with nothing under it probably just to be a little cheeky and I love it and it was seven dollars like are you kidding me I wish I had a pair of matching shorts to just wear this with that would be so perfect like knit mohair shorts but I don't know I'm gonna have fun styling it it's so dainty and cute next up this is the CDG skirt I was talking about Hopefully it's actually long long and not medium long. Oh, it's kind of medium long. I'll have to see how it fits It's hard to gauge when I'm sitting down. It's just a wool skirt 100% wool and it's Jinyo Watanabe for CDG It's kind of a neutral brown green khaki vibe It's basically like a pair of trousers but connected. It has a slit in the back so I'll be able to walk Simple perfect. I'll definitely wear a pair of leggings underneath it one to stay warm and two because 
since it's wool, it's kind of itchy, but it's amazing quality. I was a bit on the fence about getting it or not. It was listed for a bid, but nobody else bid on it, and I got it for $30. I got a Yoji Yamamoto skirt that kind of sparked my interest in longer skirts for winter. That skirt is also wool, and it's more of a casual look, but this one I feel like I could dress up or down, and I think it would look really good with this striped top and maybe even my CDG foam posits. Full calm fit. Calm on a calm day. <laughs> I'm obsessed with, I think it's like the people gallery on TikTok. Whenever he sees someone wearing Comme des Garcons, when he sees them on the street, he's like, oh, calm on a calm day. Anyways, that was the most random fact. Nice little skirt. Basic, classy. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of trying to mature my style a little bit. I realized that when I'm getting dressed in a lot of my clothes that are a bit more young and colorful looking, I like it and I liked it for a while, but I just feel like it doesn't reflect me. I kind of feel like I'm playing dress up as a little kid. Also because I'm so tall, I feel like it just looks a bit off sometimes. I don't know. I think that's also just part of life maturing, your style maturing. For a while I was like, I don't know what kind of mature clothes I would like or prefer, but I think I'm slowly kind of developing my older, more adult style. I'm only 21, but whatever. I can't be wearing angel blue forever, I suppose. <laughs> and then lastly, this. I'll open it and show you and then tell you about it. But spoiler alert, it's another graphic tee. We're all shocked. We're all surprised. Oh, it's larger than I was expecting because it's a size small, but it's a Dries Van Noten graphic tee. I don't own any Dries and honestly, it doesn't strike my fancy. The only reason I kind of even know of this brand in the first place is because when I was in high school, I used to watch, I don't know if anyone really remembers him. Maybe I'm in the wrong kind of target audience, but I really liked fashion YouTubers, but at the time, I only knew about the guy fashion YouTubers. Also, I only really wore menswear when I was in high school. So I used to watch Magnus Ronning and he really liked this designer, Dries Van Noten, and he had a lot of pieces from them. That was one of his higher end designers of choice, but it never really resonated with me. I was like, eh. But I saw this shirt up for bid and I just really liked it. It was simple. It has a nice bull on it. Similarly to the Rottweiler shirt, it's a simple design. It's not words, but it's still a graphic, casual, just a bull. And it's kind of off-white. It's not quite bright white, which I like. And yeah, I got this in a bid. I was like, I'm not gonna spend more than like $15 on it. I ended up winning the bid for $6 on a Dries t-shirt, which is crazy. This shirt is so beautiful. Again, I kind of wish I had it for the summer because if I threw this on with a pair of black jeans and maybe Rick Owens or my tabby canvas sneakers, I think that would be such a nice, simple outfit for the summer. Really chill, but still cool. But yeah, I think this would look super good with a cardigan. I'm definitely gonna be going back into the cardigan industrial complex this winter and fall. So I think I'll get good use out of it. It's a simple top, can't really go wrong. And with that, that is the end of my unboxing. The box is empty, apart from these guys. That's about it. <laughs> thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite piece was. I'm very curious. Definitely subscribe if you aren't already, if you wanna see me style these pieces for fall. I'm very excited to do that. Also, follow my Depop and Closet Instagram account if you're interested in buying any clothing I ever put up for sale. And I think that's about it. <laughs> I hope you have a good rest of your day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever it may be. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Laters.